Disney would be idiotic not to bring back Johnny Depp. Even if they truly believed that the Jack Sparrow storyline was complete, it was time for a spinoff, it would be a slam dunk. And not only would he just be coming back to play it one final time, it would be a personal story of redemption. Bob Iger, you should be fighting to do that. Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So if you guys have been here since the beginning, then you obviously remember the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. And on my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. Even if you have not been watching my channel since the beginning, I'm sure you know about that. It was literally everywhere for months of 2022. 2022, 2021, 2022. I don't even know, it's 2024 now. I was so confused. Guys, I'm losing my mind. Anyway, for weeks, it was our bread and butter as that trial went on. There was so much there that was hysterical and the court antics were absolutely outlandish. Everybody remembers Amber Heard's turd in the bed, that situation. But <laughs> once you got down into the meat of the court case, it really was an important story about a man's redemption and the serious, serious tragic pitfalls of the Me Too movement. And that really was the all-encompassing message coming out of that trial. And if you're interested in any of those videos, we'll link some of them below if you wanna get caught up. Even though Johnny Depp won his case against Amber Heard, he was legally proven innocent, he is still blacklisted from Hollywood and he's been spending his time appearing in and directing in foreign films. And now, Disney might even be replacing him in Pirates of the Caribbean. I have never actually known whether it's Caribbean or Caribbean for this specific project, but I've always said Caribbean, so we're going with that today. But anyway, they might replace him in Pirates of the Caribbean and fans are threatening to boycott, rightfully so. Before we dive into this story though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you've not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or Friday live stream. All right, so I first saw that Johnny Depp was trending last week, but I was not sure why, I just saw his name pop up on that little bar. But then I started seeing articles with this headline. Pirates of the Caribbean 6, is A.O. Edabiri replacing Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow? Like, you've got to be kidding me. You cannot replace Jack Sparrow. The entire series is built around Jack Sparrow. Like, Johnny Depp built that character in that franchise. It would literally be nothing without him. It is his most iconic role. And Cucked Disney allegedly wants to replace him, even after he was proven completely innocent. Somebody commented and said, I can't wait to see Disney bankrupt. Well, they're already going down that path, as we all know. Somebody else said, nobody will watch this without Depp. When are they going to learn? I thought that they really were learning because Bob Iger made that whole statement about how Disney had strayed from their values of you know, focusing on entertainment. They'd gotten too political. We gotta get back on track. If this is actually happening, Bob, you need to rein it in because it's not just that they are replacing Depp, it's how they're doing it and who they are doing it with. I mean, can you imagine the pressure and the challenge to try to find an actor who could come after Johnny Depp? It is literally impossible. Speaking of challenges, everybody knows that it is not only a daily challenge to find meals that taste good, but also a challenge to ensure that they keep us on the right path to a healthy lifestyle. Every time I stroll down those grocery store aisles, I feel like it is a struggle to find foods that really align with my health goals. So that's why two years ago, I decided to stop settling for subpar options and I switched to Good Ranchers for all of my meat shopping. And let me tell you, it has been the best decision I have ever made. Good Ranchers makes cooking and grocery shopping less of a mundane task and more of an exciting opportunity to craft meals that contribute to your overall well-being. My favorite product by far is their pre-trimmed chicken breast. I mean, not only does their chicken have no antibiotics, but it also has no hormones or vaccines. And right now, guys, you can get their chicken completely free, and this deal only applies to you. Good Ranchers was running this fantastic new year new meat offer where they were giving away free chicken for a year, but that offer expired on January 31st for everyone but you guys, everybody except my viewers. So this is an exclusive offer for my viewers only and you will not find it anywhere else. Redeem this offer, subscribe to any of their boxes and use my code Cooper at checkout. Good Ranchers will then add over two pounds of free chicken breasts to every order that you receive for the next year, which is literally insane. This is not a deal that you should pass up. So visit GoodRanchers.com and use code Cooper at checkout for your free chicken for an entire year. Again, that is GoodRanchers.com. Use code Cooper at checkout. That will alleviate one challenge in your life. Now we can get back to the challenge of following up Johnny Depp's performance. I had no idea who this actor was. I expected some man, quickly did a little Google search. No, it is a black woman. Here she is, Ayo Edabiri. Of course, obviously, because Disney loves a good old race swap. That's not news at all. So the story here is that Disney is wanting to move forward with the Pirates of the Caribbean 6, but not with Jack Sparrow. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? So they will be featuring a new pirate named Anne Bonny, who is a 17th century Irish pirate, a female Irish pirate. Hmm. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Let's look up some pictures of her here. She's very famous. Oh, what a perfect casting. I mean, just look at these photos. It really is just the spitting image. But also, like, who's surprised? This is what Hollywood does. They race swap 
in the name of progressive inclusivity and representation rather than actually creating rich new stories that feature characters from diverse backgrounds, which is what they should be doing and what audiences would actually enjoy seeing. It is what audiences have been asking for for years. But this race swapping that they do constantly, again, not even news at this point, it's lazy, it's not genuine, and it's not the win that anti-racists think it is. Somebody commented and said, Anne Bonny was a fabulous Irish woman, a historical figure that many Irish love. It would be wrong to cast a non-Irish woman in this role. Well, yet another go woke, go broke film. Many will boycott it just for this wrong casting. Another guy said, Disney really has a low opinion of black people. They constantly cast them to play roles of white historical figures, and the only black nation they decided to make a movie about didn't actually exist. I called it the Wakanda policy. It's so bad. And if you don't see how that's hypocritical and actually kind of offensive, I don't know a better way to explain it to you. Now, of course, all of this is alleged right now, but it is so on brand for Disney that I would not be surprised if this exact situation unfolded. And the whole thing is just aggravating purely from a business perspective, because Disney would be idiotic not to bring back Johnny Depp. Like, even if they truly believed that the Jack Sparrow storyline was complete, it was time for a spinoff, it's time for Anne Bonny, whatever her name is, they should do something to bring back Johnny Depp. Like, the money that would make would be insane. The fans would be thrilled. Everyone who rallied behind him during this court case would be thrilled. The feminists would hate watch the movie, which would only make Disney more money. Like, come on, it would be a slam dunk. And not only would he just be coming back to play it one final time, it would be a personal story of redemption. Bob Iger, you should be fighting to do that. Somebody commented and said, does Disney hate money? At this rate, I think they might. Also, not to mention, the executive producer of all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, Jerry Bruckheimer, is a good friend of Johnny Depp's, and he has repeatedly said over the years that he would love to bring him back. This was from 2022. Pirates of the Caribbean producer Jerry Bruckheimer would love to have Johnny Depp return to the film series. 2022, this was before he was proven innocent. This was when he was in the throes of being canceled, was outcast from Hollywood, Amber Heard was dominating the narrative. So obviously, Jerry Bruckheimer went out on a limb for Johnny, and I'm sure Disney did not appreciate it because we all know how they have treated him. And speaking of that, I also wonder if Johnny Depp would even want to return to Disney to do another movie, because in the past he said he was interested, but after the way that he's been treated over the past few years, I wouldn't be surprised if he said, screw you, even if the offer came up, which is good for him and stick it to them, but also unfortunate for the fans. In the very least though, if all of this is actually true, I hope that Disney does this Anne Bonny story right and actually cast an Irish woman to play a very iconic Irish role that Irish people love and want to see. The idea of a movie about one of the only famous real life female pirates sounds amazing to me. I would love to watch that, it sounds so fun, but they should do it right. And they shouldn't throw it away and make it some replacement for Johnny Depp because we all know it's impossible to replace Johnny Depp. You forgot one very important thing, mate. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Well guys, I hope you liked that video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and on TikTok. See you guys next time, bye.